Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video. Now in this one I'm gonna be showing you guys how to like fully pimp out Omni Android 11 very nicely. So this is kind of like a continuation of my previous video where I did like things to do after installing Omni and uh, this is just kind of a follow-up. So basically what we're gonna do is get Gravity Box running so with gravity box you can do some like mad stuff like this you also have like uh, the pie wheel which allows you to bring up some stuff and then you can also like kill the current app and that kind of stuff and then also it allows you to do like uh, as you can see the charging icon here at the top and um also like all screen rotation so if you rotate your screen uh, 180 degrees it'll like rotate it properly instead of getting stuck upside down basically <laughs> so this is actually fairly easy to install first thing you gotta do is well you gotta be rooted obviously so what you're gonna head over to is inside your magisk manager and then search for reru so you'll need to download this one here um, so just press the download button it'll download it and then you'll also need to download Riru LS posed so this is basically like exposed but um, a little bit better and I'll actually show you why so install this press the download here and then what you want to do is just uh, reboot your phone. And after you reboot your phone, you can head over and check safety net. And then as you can see, safety net passes very nicely. So normally when you install Ed, Ed Exposed or some other thing to do with Exposed, uh, you'll get a safety net failure. But um, with this, it's good pass safety net. So after you install that and reboot your phone you'll find a new app here called ls posed and so to download um gravity box so yeah this gravity box like all this that offers the customizations uh so you can have like nice volume thing so it shows like all the audio streams you can change them here instead of doing it like some a random ass way through the settings so once you're here, you can change like your theme and all that kind of stuff. Uh, make sure you enable this uh, black dark theme. It's uh, very important, otherwise it won't work. So then what you want to do is ho head over into repository. And there isn't like a lot of um, stuff added here, primarily because this is Android 11. So it's all good. Anyway, so what you want to do is scroll down and find gravity box or so as you know, R stands for um, Android 11. <laughs> so anyway, get in here and then uh, head over to releases, uh, click this assets. Um, it will present you with this. So just click on the first one. And then if you don't have a default browser set up, it'll ask you which browser you want to open with and just click whatever. And then they'll ask you to download the APK. So download it nicely and then find it inside your um, inside your download manager or whatever, and then install it. And after you install it, go into modules and then go into gravity box and then press this button here at the top, press this uh, enable module and then once you enabled it, you need to reboot the phone. And then once you rebooted the phone, go back into LS post, go back into here, and then you can tick uh, this uh, system framework and then system UI. Uh, by default, there's like a bunch of other stuff ticked, like your phone app and all that kind of bullshit. Uh, you don't need it. You only need the system framework and the system UI. So untick the rest of the stuff. And um, so yeah, once you got that done, uh, you'll see a gravity box app. So wherever, 
so open that and then you have like a lot of you know standard kind of tweaks and stuff like that so i'll just kind of show you um all the settings that i'm running so if you want to kind of follow what i have you can i'll just show you like all the stuff so quick settings oh yeah and uh, some of these settings uh, if you read here it says like requires uh, reboot so after you enable this you would need to reboot the phone otherwise none of these settings uh, will change so yeah um tile specific settings i didn't really like mess around with that uh, tiles per row i messed around with that so you get like six per row here as you can see um so that's what that is tiles per header i did eight so this is when you scroll down you'll see eight here but then when you scroll down like all the way you'll see that it changes to six um so yeah all this kind of stuff oh yeah quick pull down by the way is you see normally it'll pull down the notifications first but if you do set it to the right it'll pull down the or I don't know, I guess not really working. <laughs> but yeah, basically it's meant to like pull down these first. Oh, I guess it is kind of working, yeah. So it pulls them down before the notifications basically. So yeah, that's handy. If you want to like quickly change something, you can do it from here instead of like dragging all the way down. Um, oh yeah, memory bar. This is uh, this thing here. It shows how much RAM you used. So that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, as you can see, this phone has 12 gigs of RAM and it's using 4.4 currently, which is quite a lot, but Android is fairly bloat, so what can you do? <laughs> uh, oh yeah, and then also I hit the slide, uh, the fucking brightness bar. So normally it's here, it looks kind of ugly. And to change the brightness, actually, you can just... Well, you can't see it in the recording here, but if I like drag on the status bar, it will change the brightness nicely. Um, so yeah. All right, so what was it? Notification. Yeah, so this is like, see the way these are um, like not expanded. So if I enable this, they should have been expanded, but whatever, I guess it doesn't work. <laughs> it is grand. Um, so in your battery settings, so yeah, I just kind of like hit the battery because you see the battery bar like at the top, that's what I use. And then anyway, you can just check it here. If you pull down slightly, you will see, uh, your battery here. If you want like a more precise one. And then, so yeah, so here's the battery bar. Um, you can like disable or enable animations and, or the charging animation. I kind of like it so it looks cool and then you can also set it like from the center so as you can see it's like pulsing out from both sides but I like it when it's pulsing out um, from the top um, so I'm just gonna disable heads up notifications oh shit heads up notifications for a bit because uh, some people are messaging me <laughs> um, so yeah, let's see what's next. Oh yeah, adjust brightness control. That's the feature that I was talking about where you slide over the status bar. And um, yeah, so this option here, it should have like, you see the way here, there's a lot of space on either side. This should have removed it, but um, it doesn't work, unfortunately. Anyway. Uh, status bar, let's see what else did we do. Oh yeah, clock settings. So yeah, that's just basic stuff here. I put the clock in the center since it looks good. And then uh, this thing, so if you download stuff, there should be like a bar at the bottom. Oh no, wait, this is the monitor. So this is uh, this stuff here at the top. Um, so yeah, that's my settings there for that um progress bar oh yeah so this is the progress bar for downloads 
So this will be like at the bottom. And uh, so when you're downloading stuff, you can probably see it. Uh, so yeah, no ongoing notification blocker. So if you have stuff like this, like uh, my VPN here is running. So if I don't wanna see that, I can just tick this, click okay. And it should have disappeared. I don't know, maybe after restart it'll disappear, but I, uh, I like it. I like it being uh, visible. So I'll leave it like that. Um, so yeah, next is a navigation bar. I don't actually use navigation because I use gestures. I find them nicer to use. <laughs> so nothing really there. Uh, pie control. So this is uh, this thing here. That's pie control there. So if I hold down this, I get like a nice um, shortcuts to like all my favorite apps. You can set them down. Yeah, you can set them. Or actually, so for the apps, you would need to go into application launcher and then you can set them up all the way here. So let me go back to pie controls. So yeah, that's kind of what I have. I have it uh, triggered on um, the right side of the screen only because um, if I put it on the left, it's kind of annoying. So the right is very handy. So yeah, and anyway, if I hold this, it goes into my camera app. And then if I hold this, it takes a screenshot, which is handy. And then if I hold the top one, it will kill. Oh, no, wait, my bad. If I hold the top one here, it will kill the current process. So that's handy. And um, so yeah, that's the options here anyway. And then I also just change the background or the colors so like matches more with my theme or whatever. Um, so yeah, next is power. So I disabled the power menu unlock screen so that you can't like, sh you have to unlock your phone to shut it down basically. And so it looks like this. Um, so like if I do restart, you'll have like a bunch of random options here and stuff like that. So soft reboot will just be like rebooting the UI or whatever. So cancel that. Um, let's see. Yeah, and then everything else here I didn't really touch. All right, so display tweaks. Oh yeah, so I allowed the all rotation, so if you uh, turn your phone upside down, it'll rotate properly instead of being upside down. And then this uh, translucent color doesn't work, unfortunately. As you can see, like everything is still black, which is fine. I mean, it looks cool, but it'll be cooler if it was uh, a little bit transparent. Um, so yeah, phone tweaks. I didn't really do anything for that, except I enabled a uh, sending ringtone. So this is when the ringtone um, volume like increases over five seconds or whatever. Uh, let's see, media tweaks. Yeah, so volume skip tracks. Um, this is already enabled in Omni, so you don't need to enable it here again. And um, yeah, so then I just enabled like literally everything here. So that's why you can see it like this. Um, oh yeah, and I also increased the volume steps to 50. By default, it's uh, 15 in Omni. Uh, so yeah, navigation key actions. I didn't really mess around with this because <coughs> um, I just find it all right. And I think this applies to uh, the Pi here as well. So yeah, by the way, you can use the Pi for navigation. So if I just quickly press here, it'll go back and so on. If I just quickly press here, it'll go to home. If I quickly press here, it'll open up the recents. Uh, so yeah, the fingerprint launcher, uh, this is more useful if your fingerprint is like at the back of the phone, but since on this phone, it's like on the screen. So it's fairly useless. Um, screen recording, I just increased the video bitrate to 10 megabytes and um, 
that's it. I don't really use like screen recording that much anymore since um, I just do it like through the PC basically. <laughs> With the, um, uh, I forgot what the name of the app is called, but it like screen records through ADB basically, which is really cool. Uh, miscellaneous tweaks, I didn't really touch any of these. Except this torch would actually be kind of handy now that I think about it. So if you forget to turn off your torch, it'll turn off after 10 minutes, which is pretty cool. Um, ultimate notifications, I didn't um, try this out yet. Because uh, like, I don't know, I find the notifications to be all right, so I don't really need anything else and then advanced tuning i didn't really mess around with this because um don't think you really need to everything you have is here so yeah that's a gravity box with else posed running um so yeah there's actually like another cool one where is it x privacy lua so i will probably try this out later but uh currently if I scroll down, so as you can see here, Android 11, it mostly works, but not like properly supported yet. So um, I'll wait until that's supported. And I actually recommend you use uh, Privacy Lou as well. It's like more advanced uh, permissions blocking. So, or uh, spoofing as well. So you can like, for certain apps, you can spoof your IMEI or whatever with X Privacy Lua, so that's pretty handy. You can like disable camera for certain apps um, and stuff like that. So I'll be installing this later on when it's like fully supported. But yeah, so that's it. Uh, coolest thing is like this is proper exposed with a safety net fully working. Before this was like pretty much impossible. You had to use a hidden core, but then Apparently, hidden core module was like some, um, I don't know, some spy or something. I don't know. <laughs> there was like some issues with that that people were having. So, like, I wouldn't really touch that. So, yeah, that's a uh, pretty cool shit. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, bye bye.